previously on One Life to Live. There's no one else. I don't believe you. Yes, there is. But Suzanne's not coming back, sweetie, because she died. I want to find out who really killed Suzanne. I have no interest who Lindsay Rappaport is sleeping with. Maybe you should. You won't be safe if Mitch can get to you. I'll go away. I'm going with you. here so that he can marry us right now. You could have asked me first. Well, consider yourself asked. Todd, we just now got back together. All right, this will make it permanent. All right, let's get started. No! I am not marrying you, Todd! I hear the directions. I think you should leave right now if you want to beat the storm. There's going to be a police escort. You stick with them. I wish you two were free, Mitch Lawrence. <laughs> as soon as I know that they're safe, I'm gonna fly to D.C. Now, I've got an old friend down there who works with the FBI. He's gonna come up with any and everything that he can on Mitch Lawrence. Thank you. Uh, Vicki, we're gonna get him. Thanks so much, Pop. Sure. I'm gonna miss you, darling. Me too, Me too. Thank you, um, for keeping me from saying. I am never, ever gonna let that man hurt you again. It's time. What did you say? RJ, this is why I didn't tell you. I knew you would overreact. Well, Antonio slept with... It wasn't just some casual fling, RJ. He said it was... It was two people comforting each other at a low point in their lives. Can we... Can we not talk about this? We just connected and gave each other comfort at a low point in our lives. He said that? He, he used those words? RJ, it wasn't cheating. We were broken up at the time. And just, frankly, I would just as soon forget about it. You can do that? Yes, I can. I have. And if I can do that, then you ought to be able to. The only reason I told you about this is because I thought that it would help with you and Mom. Where's Nora? You tell her you were sleeping with Lindsay? Come on, Allison. You know better than to believe anything Lindsay tells you. Yeah, except when it's the truth. Nora's your public defender. If they don't find a replacement for her, you're gonna be needing her real bad. And you came all this way just to tell me that? I want you to stop bothering Nora about Lindsay. Well, she already is bothered. And so are you. I mean, isn't that why you're here? Are you gonna shut your mouth? Why should I? Guess what? No matter what you do, you're never gonna get rid of Lindsay. Okay, what do you think of choice number two? Oh, it's beautiful. Check you out. What, don't you like it? Well, the dress, oh yeah, the dress is fine. It's I'm thinking about Lindsay. I'm thinking about what Allison Perkins said about that man she's been seeing. Just forget about Lindsay, okay? Just think about how beautiful you're gonna feel when you marry Troy. <laughs> Ms. MacGyver, I picked out some bridesmaids' dresses for you to look at. Go, oh, I'm fine.
That's a lovely dress. That's for your wedding on Valentine's Day, isn't it? Do you like this dress? Because uh, I'm actually buying it for your wedding day. You're not invited. Of course not. But my boyfriend and I are planning a private celebration of our own. What is it with this boyfriend? You want me so desperately to know who he is. You already know who he is. No, no, I don't, because it's not RJ. He can't stand you. I thought you didn't care. I don't. Forget it. Oh, but I think you do. I think you care a great deal. That's why you can't let it go, no matter how much you say you want to. You're wrong, Lindsay. Oh, I know what's bothering you. We've always been attracted to the same men, and you're probably wondering if it's somebody that we've both been involved with before. Lindsay's gonna be out of my life for good very soon. Mm, you think? Her worst fear is ending up back here. Eventually, I'm gonna find something on her. She's gonna spend the next 20 years of her life right here. You already tried to nail her on her escape. Didn't work. So why don't you just kick back and relax? After all, the bimbo's crazy in love with you. <laughs> love? Is that what you call it? Oh, well, what would you call it? You're the one who's sleeping with two different women. I know girls like Lindsay. Misunderstood, lonely, cast off. Yeah, well, maybe that's their own fault. You're lucky somebody loves you like that. I'm lucky. Yeah, because you don't deserve it. But when a woman like Lindsay gets her hands on you, it's till death do you part. You want some advice? From you. You're stuck with Lindsay. Give up and enjoy. You know, Allison, I came back here to warn you not to torture Nora anymore. Oh, not to make sure I didn't rat you out, huh? You know something? Nora's an excellent lawyer. If you play your cards right, you might just get out of here before your own funeral. Who says I want out? Well, you may be very comfortable here now. But do you really want to be stuck in here the rest of your life? Just like you're stuck with Lindsay. Till the end of time. We're done. <laughs> come over here if I had known hey, this was enough. Whose side are you on? Uh, you haven't even proposed to her. You don't have a marriage license. You don't have a witness. As usual, oh. you haven't given any thought to this at all. So the place isn't crawling with flowers and bows, and that means that I don't care? It would have been nice if you had actually asked me how I felt about it, Todd. You said you loved me. I do. I do. Well, you know, you, you, you think I'm not prepared, then, then how come I don't, how come I have the license? Where did you get that, Todd? Look, City Hall. Blair's gonna have to sign it to be valid. Wait, 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 it's too fast. And assuming too bad. that she gives her consent, you still have the problem of a witness. Oh, no, 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 I took care of that. Penny! Penny, get down here now! Ha! She just wanted to let you guys know that she's getting dressed. She's been in there for two hours. Oh. See? Hey, Rivers, Dad. Hello. Hello, Todd and Blair's daughter. I just... Well, are you still a preacher? Last time I checked, I, I was, yes. Is there, is there something I can do for you? Maybe. You see, I named my iguana after my babysitter who died. I, I, I heard about that, Star. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Me too. Anyway, I just wanted to know if you could bless Suzanne Jr. If that would be anything like blessing big Suzanne in heaven. I think that that would be just like it. As a matter of fact, why don't we do it right now, which will give your dad and mom a chance to be by themselves? Okay, cool. <sighs> I just want to get married. I'm, I'm sick of us not being married. Well, I am too. I... Well, then, 
what's in the way, right? That this guy, that, that he's not after you anymore, and, and you finally figured out that Sam isn't the one for you. It's... No, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not ready, Star Todd. would be thrilled. And Jack, you know, if Jack could talk, you know what he'd say? He'd say, you're a loser. You should marry me right now. Oh, what? You're now talking for Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you know, there's the, the, the real reason. And what would that be, Todd? You love me. And? We should get married because that's how people who feel about each other, that that's what they do. They get married. We should get married. Let's get married. You know, the last time that you rushed me into marriage was when you wanted to lock me in because you were about to hand over Jack to me and pretend that he was some orphan that you just happened to find. Right. Um, you forgave me. Okay, what's the reason this time, Todd? I mean, why do you... Why are you so desperate to marry me? Now. Uh, am I interrupting something? No. I was just giving RJ some encouragement about Mom. You know, reminding him how we couldn't stay apart because we love each other so much. Well, she's right, RJ. Is she? Please. Let's not fight about this, okay? About what? What's going on? Uh, look, RJ, what, whatever you got going on, let's drop it, okay? Excuse me? Look, Carrie... Carrie can't be upset right now. It's not good for her or the baby. Yeah. Right. Look, uh, thanks for the tip about your mother. I hope it gave you some insight. Oh, it did. It definitely did. <sighs> okay. Uh, what the hell was that about? RJ's in love with Mom, and she apparently told him she had some boyfriend back in Chicago. She does? Not as far as I knew. Well, maybe she's letting him down easy. No. No, they're crazy about each other. I think she's just afraid, but... of what? Yeah, look, I know I know that the last time that we got married, that Jack had a lot to do with it, but it's, it's, it's different now. What is the rush? I mean, come on, we just, you know, we got just... we just got back together. Right, right, uh, because we belong together. And, okay, sure, Blair, look, we fight, we break up, but, but we always wind up back here. And so, we should get married. We should be together, because that's the way we're supposed to be. It's, it's what I, I, I want. It's, it's, it's what I've wanted for a long time. Andrew! No, wait, wait, stop! No, wait, I'm not... No, 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 I'm not ready. What? What, what, what now? Ready. I, uh, this is about Sam, isn't it? This... You think that I'm going to change my mind and go back to Sam. That's what this is about. Well, Sam, you know, he, he, he would try and turn you against me. He's done that before. Would you stop? Just, you have no reason to be jealous of Sam, okay? Please. I chose you, Todd, and I love you. Do you mean that? You and Jack and Star are all I ever need. So we'll get married. Star will be thrilled. Jack will be thrilled. Look, I got a preacher upstairs right now. He's waiting. Oh, yeah, a preacher and oh, and Hetty, please. You know, she's been waiting for two whole hours. I'll make you happy. What about you, Todd? What? Will it make you happy? Yes. that we've been involved with? We've 
been attracted to the same men before. You no, you've that. always gone after every man I've ever been with, just to get at me. Looks like it's working. Get a life, Lindsay. Maybe it's Bo. Or Sam. You're not seeing either Bo or Sam. Are you sure? There's one name you haven't mentioned. But you're marrying him. Oh, surely you don't think. Karen has another one for you to try on, Nora. In the back. Listen to me. I know what's going on between you and my brother. But your sleazy dress and your made-up romance aren't going to turn it into anything other than what it is. He sleeps with you to shut you up. And one day, he's going to shut you up for good. Karen? You can put this dress on my account. A very special dress. For a very special evening. about Lindsay. <laughs> I hate her, same as you. I never said I hated her. Ah, oh, relax, I'm no snitch. <laughs> hey, I had my hands around Lottie Da's throat more than a few times when she was in here. Makes my palms itch just thinking about it. You tried to kill Lindsay? Ah, the only time Goldilocks ever shut up was when I had my hands around her neck. That's the only way you're gonna shut her up, too. No. No, there's gotta be another way. Oh, what? Her word of honor? Give me a break. The only sure thing is for you to punch her ticket. I'm not a killer. No one starts out that way, even me. I just wanted to shut somebody's yap up, same as you. I messed up and I got caught. But you're college educated. You might be able to get away with it. And even if you don't, what kind of life is this? Running around being chased by some bottle blonde rodent? There's only one way to get free. Take my word for it. We've got a problem. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I never should have led you on like that. What? I hope we can still be friends. I don't want to be your friend, Elizabeth. I want... I wanted more, but... You're the kind of person I can't have anywhere near my life. What? I figured it out. I figured out who your mystery boyfriend is. I can't believe it took me this long. But uh, you don't know him. He's not even. It's Antonio. Out here. You think that the man in my life is my daughter's fiance? How many times have I caught you two together in conference, not talking, fighting, fighting the way lovers fight? <sighs> well, you're wrong. I would never, ever do that to my daughter. You can't wait to take that baby and go back to Chicago. Why? Everything you want is here. A home. A job. A daughter who loves you. Me. But you, you come up with this man back home nobody's ever heard of. Back home, home you haven't thought about twice since you got here. You don't know that, RJ. <laughs> you don't know anything about me. But you think you do. <laughs> Just because you knew me all those years ago, right? 
Well, I am not that same person. Too much has happened to ever get back what we had. Yeah, yeah, Antonio Vega happened. I've been trying to get to you. I've been trying to figure you out. Nothing. No luck. So Carrie just happened to say something. What'd she tell you? That Mr. Squeaky Clean, our overgroomed detective, had a one-night stand. Mmm. But she's fine with that. She's fine with it because it was just two people comforting each other at a low time in their lives. Well, then if Carrie's okay with it, what business is it of but yours anyway? You use those exact words about your phantom boyfriend. But he's not in Chicago, is he? You are sleeping with Antonio Vega. RJ. Damn it, Elizabeth, tell me the truth. Tell me now. I'd give anything. Yeah. I slept with Antonio. Antonio tells me there's severe weather on the way. Oh. Oh, you're gonna have to excuse me. I need to make a phone call. Okay, I'll fill you in later. Okay. Anyway, since everything is stabilized, we talked it over, and we both feel that you're better off snowed in at home than snowed in here. <gasps> yes! <laughs> okay. Do you hear that, Stephanie? We're going home! I'm gonna go sign the discharge forms. If you have any problems, call me. Hey, hey, no excitement, remember? <laughs> but I'm happy. That can't be bad for the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Honey. Look, I, I... I wanted to take you home. And take care of you. Don't tell me. Something's... Something big has come up on this case that I've been working on, and... It's in New York. The one that they've been calling you yes. about? Yes, so I, I have to take off soon so um, I can beat this storm. Well, it's okay. It'll just give me more time to plan our wedding. I want you to plan the most perfect wedding ever. Lindsay's just jealous. And she saw you in this beautiful dress. Of course she went after you. You know what? She is just a big, lonely loser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm letting her ruin another day. And we were having such fun. Well, we still can. You know, why don't we just chalk this up to a big case of pre-wedding jitters and get you a dress? You're right. But, I mean, I've been nervous and stuff, and, and uh, you know, then with what Allison, well, her being so strange, and then Troy announcing that he's still planning this vendetta against Lindsay, I don't know. What this, I guess everything just started to snowball, that's all. Ms. Buchanan, would you like to try the fourth dress? No. No, I'm going to take this one. It's beautiful. They do say the third's the charm. Yep, the third one is definitely the keeper.
and down out there. Are you sure you can see okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just following the cop ahead of us. Every mile we go, we get further and further away from Mitch. Yeah, well, where we're going, we won't need to worry about that creep. You know, I hope we get snowed in. You know that feeling? Safe inside with the world and the blanket of white. Can't wait to be alone with you. I'm gonna keep you safe now. I'm not gonna let Mitch or anyone else hurt you ever again. You had no right to hold me here. You were being held for questioning. And now I'm out of questions, so I guess you're free to go. Where's my wife? Your wife is gone, and you are never going to see her again. There's a big storm coming into town, and every cop in my jurisdiction is going to be out there tonight, making sure that everybody's safe, especially Natalie. You're making this far worse for her than it needs to be. You are never going to get anywhere near my daughter again. You will pay for this. You better get out of here before you threaten your way right back into jail. I'm so glad you are back from Switzerland and feeling better. If only Suzanne could be here to see you this day. I miss her too, Hetty. Me too. You know, this is supposed to be a happy day, huh? Oh, dear. Come <laughs> mal higher, Kleiner Jack. Oh, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Todd, you gotta let Star grieve. It's good for her in the long run. Did anybody ask you? Let's get this show on the road here. This is for you, Mom. Did you make this? Yes, I did. It is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. We are gathered here Andrew, today. Andrew, can we say our own vows? If you'd like. Todd, promise me that you'll never lie to me again. Okay. And no matter what happens, that you'll never put me through the pain that you put me through the last time we got married when I found out about Jack. I won't. I promise. And I'll hurt anybody else who does. Todd, this is about protection, right? To honor and love and protect. Well, I'll protect you, Blair. Even if it's from myself. And I believe you. And if we... In a bitter, horrible battle... Mm -hmm. no, but if we do... Promise me that you won't use Star and Jack against me, no matter what happens. You gonna swear to the same thing? Yes. Well, then I, I will too, I swear. <laughs> Todd? Right? Um... I... When I was, um, don't laugh, I was on a raft, stuck in the middle of the ocean, and I couldn't see anything but water around me, and I, every time I decided that there was no hope, and I, I thought I wanted to die, I wouldn't let myself, because I started to think maybe, just maybe, if I held on for another minute, I might be able to get back to this. To you. And to Star. And Jack. I couldn't die without trying to get back to my family. It's the only thing that kept me alive. I'm so glad it did. 
Um, just make sure that you don't take too much up, but that it's even all the way around. I can't guarantee anything unless you stand up straight. I'm sorry. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah. And if Lindsay ever comes after you again, you know who to call to get rid of her. I'm gonna go change. Okay, thank you. Maybe it's Bo. Or Sam. There's one name you haven't mentioned. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. The burglar's doing it. What burglar? The one you just walked in on. Why didn't you say something? If you want to be the bad burglar, I'll go along with that. She had a man in her life. I just lost Steve. And I was driving, trying to get to Landview to tell Carrie. And my car broke down. Antonio had just broken up with Carrie because he shot that doctor. And he didn't know if he even wanted to go on anymore. And we met. He helped me. And I helped him too, I think. It was just at once. Just once? Okay. We never even knew each other's names. So it's over between you? Are you in love with Antonio? <laughs> no. So if you're not still sleeping with him, what is there left between... Is that baby Antonio's? Carrie's carrying for me. She's not Steve's. She's mine. And Antonio's. And I know that. <laughs> I just think that there's some way that we can we can figure this out and we can. Please help me. I wasn't prepared. Oh, you, you are prepared, <laughs> Todd. Yeah, I told you. And look, you know, while we're, while we're promising stuff, I should let you know that I promise I will never call you to do this ceremony ever again. And I think he's right about that. I think this one's for keeps. <laughs> You know what, Karen? I have to get out of this dress. I, I have, I gotta, I gotta go to the store. Okay. Sure. 
Buchanan? Uh, Bo, it's Nora. I need to see you. I need to see you now. I'm at the station. I'm on my way. What do you think would happen if you came home? And there was someone here. A burglar. Makes sense, right? All this artwork. Expensive jewelry. Big, empty building. I, I, don't, I don't want to do this. You walk in on it. Dress like this. He grabs you. You scream. But no one hears you. from the heart of the storm. Hell of a night out there, isn't it? Wire tells me this is gonna be the storm to end all storms. But if you ask me, this is only the beginning. scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. The storm is definitely here. Weird about storms. They bring out the good. They bring out the bad. Make sure you know the difference. Love to dish the soaps? So do Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway, the hosts of Soap Talk, the talk show only SoapNet could do. Catch it weekdays at 9 a.m. and again at 7 and 12 midnight. Log on to SoapNet.com for more info. Only on SoapNet.